I'm Belinda Flores and welcome to BioBridge Global. I'm Director of Customer Relationship Management with South Texas Blood and Tissue Center of subsidiary of BioBridge Global. We are here in our Covenant Rotunda where we used to collect whole blood donors and now we collect stem cell donors. I'm here with Tim who's one of the original architects when we created this building. Would you like to tell us anything about this? Tim? Sure, sure. So I'm Tim Block, and I'm one of the founding partners at Overland Partners Architects here in San Antonio and was the principal in charge of this project when we built it and uh, at the time that we conceived of the building you know we we were struggling really with a couple of things one was we had to make a plan for a new building that we could then move into in a 24-hour period which was a really difficult thing uh, because we can't like just shut one down and take off for a week or two and, and go through the moving process because there's a lot of needs, a lot of blood needs out there. So we had to think about the new building, but most importantly I think about the new building is we sat down early on with uh, Norman Kalman and many of the others that were, that were here and said the building can't just be a building. The building has to somehow reflect the purpose and the mission and the culture of this organization. So how does the building itself as a three-dimensional object take on a form that is consistent with what the mission of this organization was? So the first thing, there's a big heart, a double heart, an interlocking heart, which is the logo of the company. So it was sort of, you know, from one heart to another heart, right? Somebody is given something of themselves, uh, whether it's blood, whether it's platelets, whether it's tissue, um, and they're giving it to somebody else. And they're doing that to extend that other person's life, right? So it's from one life to another interlocking and sort of the two interlocking together become one. So we wanted that to be a feature. And so I thought, you know, we need like a, a billboard on Interstate 10. And we want to put the double hearts up there on the billboard. So we thought the billboard could be this long wall that parallels the highway. And, um, and we weren't gonna spend a lot of money. I mean, we didn't wanna build a lily with the architecture, right? We wanted to put it into the building and serve the people and all the things we needed. But we also wanted it to be a beautiful piece of architecture and put in place. And I think the interesting part was we thought, well, these are the real true, you know, crown prince and princes of our society, right? These people that come, they're not coming here, they're not getting paid for this. They're doing it out of their love of their heart. So in a way, I wanted to sort of crown them, if you will. Put a crown on their head. And that's what the crown is up on top of the building. Those spikes that go out. But that crown also sort of slopes in, right? It slopes in to a pipe. And that pipe collected water. So it collected rainwater. And I refer to it a lot of times as you know, Mary Poppins umbrella. You know when the wind came and the umbrella went like this and went upward? Well then it collects water. So when it goes upward and collects water, the water would come in, go through this pipe, and it would go over to some tanks on the outside that collect the water. And that water is harvested and it irrigates the landscape. And that was one of the first times it was done here in San Antonio. 